Welcome back. We are still talking some sports in Angela. Pretty big game this afternoon over in Pocomoke. They were taking on Snow Hill and defense was the story early on. So Raymer Smith comes up with a steal, takes it and hangs and hits for two Ooh. right there. And then a few right. plays later, check out this one. LaCurse when he gets the steal, but overthrows the outlet to Jamil Baldwin, but he tracks it down the no look <laughs> over the shoulder pass to Dejour Mills over to Smith, who takes it in for two. That is pretty basketball right there. The Eagles trying to fight their way back just before half. Amir Fisher pulls up from distance and puts that one in. But this one was all Pokemon. Tyler Nixon finds Baldwin for the alley oop finish. The Warriors get the win, 87 to 55, the final. And Parkside is at home taking on Stephen Decatur, and things got weird. We'll take it to the fourth quarter. Rams down three. Jawan Williams goes baseline and finds Sean Ye Jones to put it in. So Parkside goes down just one now with 28 seconds left, and Williams hits a huge pull up three to take the lead. But the Seahawks Bigs played well all, all day today, and they are down one here. Tyree Henry gets fouled and heads to the line. After missing the first one, he makes the second one there. They're tied it up at 57. The Rams now looking to win it in regulation, but Williams' is, three ball is off the mark, and we would head to OT, and that is Parkside right there. Williams scores in transition here as the Rams take this one 69-61 to the final. Ugly, but they got done. Well, Washington was taking on Chrisfield today, and time winding down here in the first when Mark Jones gets it on the wing, and the senior buries it to beat the buzzer. Washington was up 15 after the first, but the Crabbers showing some art here. It's Tyshawn McCready and teased up the wing three, puts it in. But this one would end up being all Jags all day. The fast break and check out the sweet behind the back pass by Jameer Jones to Deshaun Parks. Glides in and finishes with the right hand. And then a few plays later, Mark Jones shows he's got a little muscle as well. Takes it and gets the bump, finishes for the end one. Washington gets the win, 86 to 28 the final. Tell you what, not a lot of games to kind of shake up the power <laughs> ring this week. A lot of stuff obviously got postponed, but there was a couple things that stood out to me, and I'm interested to see what Trayvon says. I really want to know what our power ranking expert has to say. But yes, because of the cancellations, there has been a lot of games postponed. But Trey Miles is standing beside, so we have to know what his power rankings look like this week. Thanks, Angelo. Well, like you said, so many cancellations this week all over the place. A lot of teams got their chance to climb my rankings playing earlier today. So let's see how they did. My home state of Maryland's up first, and that first st spot is looking really familiar to the high these days. 37th straight day for the Indians, leading this list, standing strong with their win over Bennett today. Pokemon also still in that number two slot. Good win over the Worcester, Co Worcester County rival Snow Hill. Kent hasn't lost since January 22nd. Winners of six straight right now. I wanted to give them the nod over Parkside, but we'll have to wait and see what kind of performance they put on against Wahai in that Bayside Championship coming up. Over in Delaware, if there was one team that could get a couple wins out of this mess, it would be Polytech beating teams in blizzards, freezing temperatures, icy roads. It does not matter what you throw at this team. Coach Pierce and his boys poised for a deep playoff run. As for the others, Smyrna with a big win over Silesianum on senior night. What a game that was. Dover and CR, they got rained out on Thursday night, but they got the win today against CR. Senators there with an outside shot to still get into the Delaware State Tourney. Milford has a hold of the South, and if they can win out, they can win the South. And if Delmar, you know the Cats average 70 points a game. That is the most in the state, but defense wins championship. We know that. They'll stay at five for now, guys. Well, I'll tell you what, not, like I said, not a lot of movement up in Maryland. I got a couple things I think might surprise people. I got Y High still at one, Pokemoke at two, Washington at three. But here's where it gets weird for me. I'm sick and tired of watching this Parkside squad. I mean, they are terrible lately. They are killing me. So I don't know what's going on I'm with them. So mad at you. I got Kent <laughs> County jumping them in the rankings now. It's just they have not looked good. They haven't gotten any better. They might be the only team that hasn't gotten better as the season's gone along. They might have gotten okay. worse, actually. Over in Delaware, I got Pauly clearly at one, Smyrna, Dover, Milford, Delmar. Okay, well, I'm going to go over to Maryland first. Obviously, why high then? Two, I got Poco. I'm going to go with Washington at three, but I'm keeping Parks at it four. Today, I was at the game, and honestly, they did not have the team that they needed on the court in order to win that game, and that was the biggest game changer there. So I'm going to stick with them at number four. And the number five, I'm going to go with Bennett. They look great today against Why high they might have lost somebody, but I'm going to throw them up there just to give them, you know, a little something there. And then over to Delaware, I'm going Polytech, Smyrna, Dover. I'm going Delmar over Milford. I've okay. got Milford at five. I'm going with Delmar. I think that they have the ability to do it, and I think that they're going to take Milford down next week. So. Yeah, if there's a dark horse in the base side, it's got to be Bennett. I mean, they played yeah. everyone tough. They might be able to go on a run, might kind of upset some people, see what yeah. happens there. Well, it's time for another quick commercial break, but coming up next, we're going to be joined at the desk by one of the best coaches in the entire Bayside, maybe that they've ever seen. 
Keep it right here. Hey, my name's Chucky August. I am a starting guard for Laura Bulldog Basketball, and you're watching the Marvel Sports Insider.